Welcome back. Ground was broken today on a major project in West Fargo. The $12 million Cheyenne Plaza project will have two five-story buildings, which will include a mixture of residential and business uses in the 400 block of Cheyenne Street. A second building will be built a block down the road after the first phase of the project is completed, and the city will add a park in between the two buildings. The project is expected to be finished by next August. It's a start of getting people back down here and uh, walkability. We're going to do some walkability things in this downtown with the street, Cheyenne Street. So it'll, I think it'll all, you know, when it comes together, it's going to be gorgeous. Now coming up on Valley News Live 10 at 10, we're going to tell you how the project positively affects one local business. A three-story, 120-year-old house was moved today. The Kinsler House was relocated to a spot on 64th Avenue. Crews started the actual move at 9 this morning at 42nd Avenue South, just off University. It took about two and a half hours to get the job done. The house, as you can see, is huge, three stories, standing more than 45 feet, and it weighs in the neighborhood of 130 tons. The house had to be maneuvered between some light poles and worked its way through two roundabouts. But all the planning and hard work, well, it paid off. My parents, they're going through a lot. It was a lot of emotion this morning when it, the house actually left the lot, you know, from where it's been sitting there for about 25 years. Um, that was tough, had a little tear shed, but they're happy to move. They don't want to be in the way of the city's flood protection. So it, it was a win-win for both. The house was moved for flood protection near the Rose Creek Golf Course. The city is paying more than $800,000 to pay for the move. The Kinslers will be able to move into their old house at its new location in about a month. Who doesn't like a great night's sleep? Well, one out of four people say that they have problems sleeping, and most sleeping pills can come with side effects. On Valley News Live 10 at 10, we'll tell you why one analysis uh, analyst rather says that they don't work and what you can do to help with insomnia. Preseason rankings coming out? Preseason rankings, preseason accolades for a couple of players. Uh, we've got all those details on your Bison football coming up next.